So it's um, Super Bowl Sunday today. Yesterday, uh, as you can probably tell by the titles of this video and everything, um, try to get ready for this, <laughs> trying to get prepared. Um, again, I told myself when I started doing this show that okay, there'll be no crying, there'll be no... Anyway. Uh, my, my cat's gone. She's been sick. Many of you who watch this know. I spent... 18, over 18 years, almost 19 years with this cat every single day. This is her spot. Ever since I found her in a tornado in Wichita Falls, Texas. I, this is this little kitten with a scabbed eye. I uh, picked her up. She climbed right up here on this shoulder. I'll never forget it. She just snuggled in and started purring louder than a little kitten should have been able to purr. And I just said, okay, I guess uh, you chose me. And in return, I chose her. I gotta, I'm gotta. i not going to talk a lot here, okay? Um, yeah, I just woke up that day, dyed my hair, you know? <laughs> Cut off the beard, just trying to find the fountain of middle age. And just going about my day. And she hopped up on the little floor bed I have here and shook her head like she does because her mouth was, she had a big tumor in her mouth. And the writing was on the wall, unfortunately. I thought we had months. I really did. Um, but when she shook her head, it, this blood came out everywhere. And um, I... <laughs> it's only been a, a, a handful of times, if that, that I've ever... That I've just panicked and didn't know what to do. And I'm usually pretty together. I'm usually pretty, uh, pretty good keeping my cool, you know? I, I didn't, <laughs> I didn't know what to do. Maybe she just bit it, you know? Maybe she just, but then I'd watch her and she would eat food and struggle and struggle to eat food. And, uh, I'd check the plate afterwards, you know, cause I was home making her meals, homemade meals and stuff. I checked the plate and there was blood in the plate. Uh, she was hanging out by the heaters and kind of hiding out. There's a big blood stain on the floor. She's bleeding, bleeding pretty bad. And I had to take her in and even though <laughs> it seemed like she was mentally there and you know, we're at the vet and she's exploring the place and running around and purring. And, and I held her all night before that. Uh, the night before we went to the vet, I held her all night. Uh, she slept on my chest. She purred in her spot right here up until the end. Whew. And uh, the vet's like, we can do this now or you can take her home. And we, we'll put her on some heavy pain medications and then... You know, Monday we can do it. And I sat there and I stared at this damn paper. I swear, I ca she came in two or three times and I just had to tell her, look, I just, I called my mom, you know, I just, just stared at this paper, you know, I'm killing my best friend, basically. <laughs> but, I mean, she was in a lot of pain. And we could have had some maybe weeks left of just, you know, together, but they wouldn't have been good weeks for her. And I, I guess, I don't know. She, anyway, uh, yeah, my, uh, phone. So I, I did some Facebook posting because that's what we do this day and age. Right. We don't, especially me when I don't have a whole lot of other people to talk to. I got a lot of calls from people and tons of mess. I mean, literally it's crazy. The outpouring of affection, <laughs> Uh, I think she got more affection and, and condolences and everything than I would get if I passed away. And that's fine because this little girl for 18 years, and I've said this many times, loved me way more than I ever deserved. 
And, and we all do that thing where we're like, God, all the times I kicked her off the bed, all the times I had to lock her out because she wouldn't let me sleep, all the times I told her to shut up for meowing, all the, you know, all the times I'm like, God, there's poop on you, great. You know, just who gives a crap about any of that stuff? In the moment, you're just irritated and annoyed or whatever, but, you know, then you look back on it, it's like, it's nothing. I'd kill to wipe poop off of her paws right now, you know, I'd, I'd cure, I'd kill to, I just heard a meow, it was just weird. Probably came from outside, but I would kill to hear a meow again, you know. I keep seeing her, like, in the out corner of my eye, just kind of like, oh. Nope. So in this video, I'm just going to do a little uh, tribute. Some pictures, some clips. You know, just stuff that's been on this show. Just stuff throughout our 18 years. And, and this, is, this isn't for you. I'm, I'm, I, if you want to watch it, do it. It's cool. Uh, pay tribute to her. She deserved it, you know. This is for me to uh, hold on to. And be able to, you know, look back on in 20 days or 20 years. Like yesterday morning, she was sitting right there in her cat tree, which is now, you know, over there, so I don't have to look at it. She was sitting right there looking out the window. I didn't know that was the last time. So I got to get out of this apartment. I'm giving myself two months to pack, put everything into storage, just get out of here. Now that she's not here, I realize how much my world revolved around her or involved her. And I didn't realize how much until this morning when I woke up and I swear, I'm not making this up, I swear I heard meowing this morning, it was probably something else. I leave the TV on at night, it could have been that, it could have been outside, who knows. But I could have sworn, you know, when you're waking up, you just, yeah, I could have sworn it was. And then I woke up to go put some food in her dish and immediately saw that the dish is no longer there, you know? Oh, fuck, this sucks. This really sucks. But I mean, I've been talking for 11 minutes now, so. This one's for you, baby girl. So I'm, uh. <laughs> How quickly things can change, right? Um, she's been having trouble, obviously, and she was really, her mouth was really bothering her really bad. And she just crawled up on me like she always does and just bled. Hi, Angel. You see your mouth? Oh, man. Baby girl, I'm so sorry. And look at her trying to console me. You know what I mean? <laughs> this is who this cat is. She's still really coherent and just playful. She still wants to play with the squirrels. This is what I was afraid of. You can tell she's not ready to go. Everything's fine except for one thing in her mouth, and that's it. That's it. Everything is fine. So we've got an early morning appointment tomorrow at the vet. I'm just hoping that uh, this is not our last night together. This is her spot. It's always been her spot. Always will be. She's purring hard enough right now, so just gotta keep her purring for through the night and we'll see what happens tomorrow. Who's that baby girl? Who's that? Is that the most beautiful girl in the world? Poor thing. So as you can tell by my face, I have not slept. Damn. Stayed up all night with Marcy Cat. She's uh, 
She ate a lot last night, a couple hours ago, I should say. There was a lot of blood in the dish, though. Um, so she's still bleeding out pretty bad in the mouth. That's sweet. Did you get some food? The mouth is bothering you pretty bad, though. yourself Don't you it never ceases to amaze me just walked right in there <laughs> it's like I'm coming too <laughs> I wish you didn't have to she literally just walked right in there Honey, outside, baby girl. keep mentally sabotaging myself. Realizing that might be the last time she sits in that window, you know? She loves that window. be the longest damn drive I've ever done in my entire freaking life. sure you understand why I'm not going to be filming at all. I'm uh, just going to take her in there and hopefully we can hopefully we can go home together. Don't worry. I'm telling you. It's going to be okay, baby. I think I'm going to keep that down there for a little bit. Here's her food dish from last night.
turkey bone or something. Ooh, that smells good, doesn't it? Do you agree with that?